What is up guys, Greedy Knight here with a guide on how to get gold rank on Hakolo Elite and Monster Hunter Stories 2. You don't need any Rainbow Gene monsters to get gold rank, just strategy and taking advantage of knockdowns. Let's get into it. Here's the setup for my hunter. Bone armor for the extra raw damage. Using bow is optimal for this hunt because it revolves around a 2 turn burst attack while greatsword, hammer and gun lance take too many turns to ramp up for damage. This allows you to pop 2 power shots in 5 turns. Talisman doesn't matter, but I recommend using anything to boost your crit chance or damage. The required team is Puke Puke as the lead, Velocidrome and Boldrome as the other switch-ins. You don't need rainbow gene monsters to clear gold rank, none of my members have damage boosting skills and only have 1 or 2 additional points in attack, so you can get away with mediocre stats. You do need to have everything at max level though. You lead with Puke to attract the aggro of Boldrome, you swap out for Velocidrome. If you have enough kinship, use Killer Strike, otherwise use your speed attack to perform a double attack. Either way, Boldrome will proc a power clash at the end, which will give you enough kinship for the entire hunt. Have Velocidrome use Killer Strike to ensure Boldrome dies this turn. Use Charge to set up for next turn. Let the turn play out and Kulu should drop in after everyone does their action. You swap out for Boldrum to stay on schedule, it will win any head to head against the remaining 2 monsters while you can build up kinship for turn 4 and 5. If Kulu targets you, your rapid shot power will just demolish it, your only loss condition is if you do not kill Kulu this turn. Missing a single attack or losing a head to head will end the run. That being said, Kena's Velocidrome is the weak link in the team, if Kulu targets it, the run is as good as over, but I think Kulu prefers to target your powerful Velocidrome over Kana's, so it shouldn't be an issue. Young Kaku rolls in at turn 4, you use charge the setup for turn 5 and let the turn play out. Your team should get the break bar almost close to empty. Have Bulldrum use lethal tackle while you use rapid chop power. Kena and Velocidrome will proc the break, tripping Kutku. This causes all attacks to become critical hits and it causes lethal tackle to have a guaranteed hit, in my runs at least. Between the rapid shots, lethal tackle and power shot, Kutku is as good as dead, clearing the mission. The run itself isn't hard but figuring out an optimal path is. There is more than one solution but this is the one I found. I know Gaijin Hunter posted his guide but I did the run without any rainbow gene monsters. In fact my bull drum was pretty mediocre but I cleared this hunt multiple times with gold rank using Pumba the bull drum. Like if you found the video helpful, consider subscribing if you want more stories content like this. That's all I have for this one, Greedy Knight signing out.